friends. You know, they're married. They got yeah. their kids now. And I'm like, Did one of my. You, I just have to. Inter one of my favorite stories about Justin Wong's baby right now is that in preparation for the baby, his grandma oh, yeah? carried around a bunch of watermelon, like a watermelon <laughs> to gain the arm strength <laughs> oh to be gosh. able to hold the baby. Like, I that heard, is I, like. My heart melted, dude. <laughs> That's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. our top eight rounded out here. We got uh, VMP Chex Quest going against PAG, PAG Vic Viper. Okay. Yujiro and Justin Wong. That's the winner's side. On the loser's side, we got TXS Javi. Uh, not sure what the complete tag, but I know that's Cookie, also a third strike player. Okay. Let's see if I can go back, if my phone allows me to look at this record <laughs> know, again. Right? Oh, oh, man, I, I totally worked <laughs> it. Yeah. I'll pull it back up here in a moment. Smash that GG, please. <laughs> yes. Well, it's more like I don't know how to use my phone very well. Oh, gee. Is it a brand new phone? Yeah, I'm just bad. I'm bad with phones in general. My fingers are too fat to push the buttons technology. half the time. Yeah, it's just what is technology. this technology? <laughs> But yeah. I believe this is going to be our first match. Yeah, this and was I, a Vic Viper going yep. up against Chex Quest. Quest. Yeah. yeah, and I said Cookie Chex against Quest. Javi on the loser side, and then there's a C. Cassidy and TSP Blaze. How many people actually know what Chex Quest is? <laughs> it was actually a, a Doom clone that came in a cereal box. Yeah, like yeah. It was actually, you could get it in the box of Chex, and people played it because it was strangely <laughs> not as bad as everyone thought it was going to be. I mean, Doom... Do mods back in the day. We're all we're all over the place. <laughs> yeah, but before we get into the top eight, let's look a little. Uh, let's watch a little recap video of how we got to this top eight. Shout outs to the awesome audiovisual crew putting that together I'll today. <laughs> I'll say. Today. I've actually tried to do live editing back before editing oh, yeah. was convenient. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh man, I almost died. So. It's, it's extremely <laughs> difficult to do. But shout outs, yeah, we're going right into our first match. Nice. Chex Quest on the player one side going up against PAG Vic Viper. Looks like we're going to have Charlie and Sakura. Two of the. Uh, Higher-ish tier characters mm -hmm. in the game. Uh, currently, I, I'd say I, I was looking up online of the current 2019 tier list is kind of like the top four. I believe were Chun Li, Chun -Li Ken, uh, Ken yeah. and Ryu, and I believe Rose. Rose, okay, yeah. that makes sense. That makes sense. But Charlie and Sakura had both no no slouches. Sakura very very good use of the uh, the Vi CC is it's called. <laughs> yes. And just you know the the classic low short low short stand short yes. show can combo Does a lot of damage. And the stand roundhouse has always been one of the best footsie tools oh. of a character. That oh, here we go. There it is. Four lights right yeah. there. Good cross up. Oh, nice. You see how far that standing light kick reaches? Yeah. I good damage. Yeah. Yeah, Ow. you can do like three or four lights, be able to confirm and get a crazy damage. Built up two bars there for Vic Viper. Yep. And flash kicks, you know, when, when we had invincible uppercuts and stuff. So. So there's a few like. Very ad slightly advanced tactics in this game I was reading about. Like, you can car cancel normals into specials to build mm -hmm. more meter. Uh, some oh, characters take advantage of oh, Good damage. Yeah, see that damage right there. And you know what? Uh, I feel like Vic Viper is far back enough that it, I didn't feel like he should have spent that meter there. Mm -hmm. Save it for round three or at least see if you can drain it up on enough life where it could kill him. Because now that that... There yeah. it is. Nice. Good confirm. Yeah, so the whole thing about the custom combo activation is it's instant, and it's, then yep. you can act before the opponent can. That's why the Vi CC yeah, works right like there. that. You can sweep them before they can change the crouch block. Uh -huh. So it, there's a couple mechanics, like right there, if if they were standing while that was activated, they could not block that low. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. It's basically an instant low. The other mechanic, though, is if you're close enough and you activate it and they weren't blocking or doing anything, there's a blowback animation where you get a guaranteed them. hit. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. and you get anti-airs, yes, by the way. Yes, anti-air as well. Yeah. And, you know, one of the nice things about custom combos, and this continued forward even through Alpha 3 and, and, and CVS 2, is that custom combos are just too, are just, it's like a button press, yep. right? There's no joystick motion. Yep. And so it's very easy to react to jumps at the last second or to react to a fireball and walk through yep. the Because there was, if you had full three bars and activated custom, you also had invincibility for yeah. a little bit. So you could walk through projectiles and stuff. In, in, in Alpha 2, they're a little harder to input since it's a three button input yeah. compared to Alpha 2 where they became two button inputs. But then the whole Alpha <laughs> custom combo yeah. system in that game is a completely different animal. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because nowadays we know so much about fighting games. Like, I can't even tell you if there was a plink window and if that's why it was yeah. so hard, yeah. you know, because I don't think you could plink it. Actually. No, I, I said it's it's pretty easy sometimes to mess up. Oh, got, got him blocking low. Oh, nice. Oh, went over the Alpha counter. Yeah, that was nice. That was really nice. So a lot of the uh, tiers in this game, besides just characters having insanely good normals like Rose's famous crouching medium punch, <laughs> alpha counters play into a, a big part of the tier list oh, as well. Yeah. Like Ken is notorious for having probably two of the best alpha counters yeah. in the game. This reach is so far. It just the biggest weakness is that it doesn't lock knock you down, and it is negative on hit. Ooh, the overhead there, and the sonic boom takes it, yeah. Charlie. Good stuff from Chex Quest. He's got one bar to work with here. Yeah, you can activate it at any, as long as you've got one bar. Obviously, you just can't do as much, but yep. the Vi CC still works. And also, if you notice, when people get knocked down, they it's like they don't get knocked down. Yep. And it's largely because they can roll in place. Oh, he got the blowback there. Mm -hmm. Oh, no roll attempted at all. Okay. It, it pretty much the only way to actually confirm into a custom combo is if you land a jump in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like it's not like a V trigger where you can cancel oh. and move into it. Wow, using yeah. a super right there to get that little bit of damage and then the crouching medium kick. And there we go, Chex Quest tying it up one to one. Footsies are definitely the major aspect of this game. Your your spacing and normal use has to be very strong because, like I said, because of by custom combos, and there's ways to beat that as well. There's counter activation if you have meter and you and yeah. you see it coming. As long as you weren't, as long as you didn't get blown back by right. the activation, you can actually counter back with your own custom. Yeah, and and also just, you know, because it requires you to be standing, mm -hmm. people have just learned to throw in crouch blocking in the middle of their yeah. footsies, <laughs> yeah. you know? Because if they activate and you're crouching, then you basically make them waste their whole meter just yep, like that. Just like that. Yep. That's why level, level one customs usually are kind of the most common you see because you get the meter back so quickly afterwards. <laughs> yeah. And a one, a one bar combo can do sometimes character dependent up to 50%. Yeah. Especially like that's one of the reasons why Chun Li's always so top tier. Because yes. her level one, one and a half custom combo. Oh, yeah, he oh, was there standing. It is. One more. Oh, he could have got another dragon yeah, project. I feel maybe. like he could have. Oh, and guess what? Yes. And right it. back at you. <laughs> That's what you get. I, I'm pretty sure he could have got another hit. Mm -hmm. uh, Vic Viper there, but Chex Quest on game point. And that's the thing is if he was if he was wrong and he couldn't get another hit, yeah. he would have whiffed an uppercut and flown to his death. Basically. Oh, nice whiff punish. 50% gone. Yeah, you see how much damage that can do. Very fast paced game. The damage is incredibly high. Ugh. Nice yep. confirm. Easy confirm right there. And tried to go for the empty low. Nice, and there yes, yes, alpha counters can kill. And they do a chunk of damage, mm -hmm. too. They are strong. It takes a whole bar, it takes one bar to use him, but okay, no. Oh, that's three bars gone. Yeah, see, there you go. But he's already almost got another one built. Like I said, meter building is very fast. Yeah, if you get hit out of a custom combo, whatever you have left in your meter gets oh, halved. No. Good block. Oh, I thought he got him. Yes, but he's he not going to get him. Look at this. Damage, but you know, it's only half of his life. He needs to do nice a little bit throw. more, and he's got to watch out for the count. Oh, he's going to spend his meter on the alpha counter. And if Sakura can build up another one, another bar right now. Yep, very quickly. Basically, it almost Ooh. becomes an unwinnable situation. Doesn't matter. <laughs> wow, the pop up. Okay. Good stuff. Moving on. Vic Viper going into winner's <laughs> finals. Hype about that. Look at him. He, you know what? He's good. He's like, I'm going to take this tournament. I don't care who's in here or what. 
But you know what? One of the opponents he might face might be Justin Wong, who's coming up here next. Yeah, so we're going to have Yujiro versus Justin Wong. Yeah, so Yujiro is going to try to uh, play a little bit of a spoiler to Justin Wong. Justin Wong, and so him and Chris G like to come and, and take all these old games at these events yeah. here. So Yujiro is a very old school Nebraska player. Okay. Uh, mainly a third strike player that I've known him for over the years. That's said. From being a part of this community for so long, it just names and faces. <laughs> I see him. I mean, so I, cool. I only get a chance to see a lot of these guys once a year nowadays mm -hmm. compared to back then. You know, we'd travel around to various yeah. small little gatherings for third strike tournaments. But, a oh, yeah, a little here. button check. Looks like, uh, I'm not sure. I actually don't know who Justin uses most of the time in this game. I think it's Rose, right? I want to say Rose? Rose, but I could see him also probably using Chun or even Ken. No, I, th I think he's a Rose player because Rose is lame as hell in this game. So, <laughs> you know, that's right up Justin's alley. Him, I think Justin's trying to set. Yeah, there, yeah, we, go. there we go. Reset now we got it. the reset, yep. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Playing, of course, on the actual super guns here. Yep, all of the tournaments for these old school games are on original hardware. That's so cool. I think even CBS too. Oh yeah, I, oh, I believe. Dang. Yeah, okay. I believe that. And I was talking. I was talking with uh, Arturo about it. They have some crazy new. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Digital. Uh -huh. The, the mm -hmm. picture quality is just yes. insanely now, good. One of the reasons why uh, the Shotos are so good is because they can option select uh, alpha counters. So yes. they can do low roundhouse, delay uppercut, and if you alpha counter, you'll uppercut their alpha yep. counter. That the reason why Rose is so good is because she just snatches you right away, <laughs> and that doesn't work. Nice super from Yujiro there. Okay. Oh, Justin's no, going to lose his bar there. Yeah, scary. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forgot. Rose is one of the characters that has kind of a young built-in super where she gets the multi-hit <laughs> move. <laughs> and you can couple that on top of custom combos to just yeah. get crazy damage. And you also got to watch out. If you're throwing a lot of fireballs at Rose, if she absorbs it, she just gets so much meter. Yep. And you saw the chip damage on that heavy soul spiral once she had those shadows up. Oh, God. Nice. Ooh. Yep, nice anti air come. Oh, oh but there's the that's That's just the footsies right there. That's, that's just the footsies. This is Justin Wong's footsies. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Doesn't want the meter, just hits him with it, right. activates it. Oh, and is that punished? So level one supers like all act like level yeah, three supers yeah. in like or or like Chun Li Ooh. Hoyokusen in, in third strike. Yep. They're so fast, even the level ones. If you're not blocking before, and a level one activates in your face, you get yep, hit. Yep. Oh, nice oh, throw. Yeah, but a tech from Justin. Okay, this is going to be tough. He can probably get he's in chip territory here. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is the game. That is the game there right there. It is. You get stuck in that distance. You can't walk backwards because mm -hmm. you are stuck in block stun. Yep. And it, that low strong is such a good move for Rose. It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> and Yujiro's shaking his head. It's like, I, I don't know what it, like, <laughs> There's almost nothing you could do besides mm -hmm. try to whiff punish, but that's jump, so, jump away. so jump hard. Away. Yeah, jump away. Yeah, I mean, in older fighting games, people don't realize that whiff punishing wasn't even as big. Look at how much meter she got. That's yeah, half yeah. a bar yeah, right half there. half a bar. All right, good job. And I think when she absorbs them, her, the next fireball also becomes more powerful. Or is that only alpha three? I can't uh, remember now. I, off the yeah. top of my head, I can't remember. Okay, good block from Justin. But supers are a lot of more safe. As yeah, well. and there's that alpha counter. It just grabs you right away and puts you on the other side. So now you have to. Oh, oh my God! It's a simple two and one that does so much. Oh man, Justin, Justin yep. is dominating here on the footsies right now. jiro has got to get a Vaya custom just just to get some damage back. Yeah. Well, he's got, got a level two now, so level he can two do a decent could, amount of damage. Yeah, that could steal the round. Oh, uh, but just walks into a fireball, and Rose on her fireball has that blowback. Yep. When she activates, if you're point blank next to here, there's like a wind thing that pushes you all the yeah. way back. No, oh, he went for it. Ow! That is half life. So much damage. Ow! Oh. And now if he blocks another one, he could die by chip. Yeah. Said during that mode, it does such insane yeah, damage. And there, and there it is. is. Okay. Oh, with hit. the level three, so he didn't block. But you see how little damage that did compared yep. to a Vi CC. And that's why the Vi CCs are so powerful. 
Justin's like, throw a fireball. I want to absorb Oof. it. Oh, no, I just want to flip it. And it then is. walks into the fireball again. Justin takes it 2-0 over Yujiro, moving into the loser's bracket. <laughs> so pull up my bracket here. It will be later on here, Vic Viper versus Justin Wong in the winner's finals. Mm -hmm. And we are moving into loser's side here. We have TXS Ooh, Javi okay. on the player two side, I believe, and that is Cookie Yeah, on okay, the player okay. one side. I, I know Cookie. Yep. I know Cookie. Strong Elena player in third strike. And Javi, of course, fresh off of Texas Showdown from last weekend. Yeah. So he is uh, no resting for him here. Was it last weekend or was it two weekends ago? I think it was last weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, time flies so fast now. It's hard to yep. keep track. <laughs> it's, we, we were trying to push back our, uh, we were push back seating in a couple days of the event <laughs> just, just for a Texas Showdown. We're like, all right, let's see who wins, you know. Okay. Javi, of course, super old school player. Ooh. Sodom yeah. is a very strong character in this game. He was actually one of my mains in Alpha 2. So Alpha 2 was one of the last Street Fighter games to have like near inescapable tick throws with mm -hmm. command throws. And I miss his level one super so bad yep. in this game. Every time you block a light jute like that, you're never sure if he's gonna super afterwards. Yep, exactly. And if you're blocking, you're gonna get grabbed by even the level one. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, yeah, Javi is trying to gain a, ga basically gauge what Cookie's trying to do after blocking it. But here Whoa. we go, good damage. Oh, wake up. The wake up. Level, level two there. Oh, guess what? Yeah. I can do it too. So the cool thing about this game, like some Street Fighter games, it, it, no matter what your meter is, you try to do a super, it'll just do whatever the max mm -hmm. damage is. Kind of like in uh, CBS 2 in this game, depends on what button you press. Actually, it's up to how many buttons yeah. you press. Yeah, in Alpha 2, you had to hit one button for level one, two, two punches buttons. for level two, three punches for level three. So it was sometimes tricky like to, to input that three button because the, there was not a really big window to make mm -hmm. sure you're, ac you're accurate. Yeah, you would mess up a lot. It was Alpha 3 that they first introduced the heavy Single punch button, for yep. level three and stuff. Stuff. Yeah, which is always such a preferable way to do it. <laughs> oh, he baited it, but he's yes. gonna get it anyway, and Doesn't the damage. Matter. That and was the level three right there. Yep, and in the alpha games, you can air block versus certain things. Mm -hmm. Against supers and things like that, I don't believe. Maybe it's projectile supers you can block in the air, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think so. No, I don't even think you could air no. block those okay, either. Okay, you might be right about that. I'm pretty, yeah. probably okay. sure. But like a lot of a lot of moves you can block in the air, like air to air normals, uh, fireballs you can jump on and block. Yeah, anything that is airborne you can block. So yeah. you, an uppercut cannot be air blocked nope. until it leaves the floor. Yes, yes. So grounded moves cannot be air blocked. So preemptive dragon punches sometimes are not the greatest mm -hmm. anti air option. Mm -hmm. You want to wait until they're much deeper. Now, right now, Cookie's looking very strong here. Javi having a trouble. I'm surprised Javi hasn't gone for a 720 after a Jitte yeah, exactly. at all. Yeah. Like right there. Ooh, a whiffed. Yep. Yeah, that's the problem with uh, Sodom's uh, pun. Oh! <laughs> Get back down! <laughs> what are you trying to do here? Nice punish on that. Okay. Rose, though, sitting on full bar. Oh, oh. too far away. Didn't quite get it. He's, uh, Spice Cookie has not activated. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at the chip. Oh, this jump back. It was far enough away that the chip wasn't massive, yeah, but it yeah. was still enough to get uh, Javi scared to block another one. Javi's tournament life is on this match here. This is his. Got to come. Yep. She has that side switch off counter. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some people wouldn't even like try to combo out. They just use it for the side switch exactly, to get out of there. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's. Ooh, a trade! And oh, then again, again. no SPDs for you. Wow, what a re what a call out! That might do it. One more chip, yes. Yeah. Oh, not quite oh. it. Now, there okay, it now it was the chip was in danger at that point, point. and there it is. Cookie is gonna take it. Yep, good stuff to Javi making top eight here in Alpha Two at Combo Breaker. 2019. Dang, look at this hype from Vic <laughs> Viper, dude. He's he's just hype about everything. Cookie though moves on. Gonna have our next match here. On the loser's side, it is CD, C Cassidy, I believe that's how it's pronounced, against TSB Blaze. I recognize that name, Blaze. Oh, yeah. I think, honestly, from GGPO. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> like, okay. I, I, 
I, I mean, I've seen him. Well, I, he's also involved. I mean, TSB yes. stands for Team Stick Bug, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so he's definitely been around doing a lot of stuff on the East Coast, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Oh, do we have a guy player in, in on hand here? We might. I'd be so sick if we do. Guy was such a fun character. Oh, man. I love... That that little Easter egg right there with Cody and Jessica in the background. Oh, it's great. Like Cody is staring at Rose. It's it's only if there's a girl character, yep. she'll punch him in the really? face for staring at Rose. Really? See, like no, <laughs> like there. Man, he's knocking blood out too. Yeah, if it's just guys, like this, that animation won't happen. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, you got Andor standing back there, being big. They, like you see Cody's head follow Rose. You see how he like he turns and keeps looking at her. <laughs> oh Smack. man! And then he goes back to it. He looks at her again. I do, I've always I've always loved the final fight character aesthetics. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, switch the sides. I thought so. Oh okay, gotcha, gotcha. They'll probably reset it after this. Oh, okay. I see how it works. Okay, they Such had, that, that noise. That da -da 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 -da. yeah. Oh, I, I would so just, I would leave, you know, GGPO on late at night. <laughs> I'd for, totally forget, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, -da 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 -da, <laughs> wake me up in college. I'm like, what was that? Oh man. But yeah, guys' run pressure was insane in the Alpha Two yep. games. And we're going right into it. Yeah, Rose it, versus Guy. It always get, kept getting nerfed in every game, too, because in Alpha 1, his standing medium kick was cancelable, which reached, <laughs> like, halfway across the screen. Yeah. Then it was crouching medium kick, and then crouching medium kick wasn't cancelable anymore, and he had to do stand strong in Alpha 3. Oh. They kept changing it. Look at the chip on that. Oh, oh he had oh, the blowback, too. Oh, he missed it. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. oh, just the overhead. Okay, I was worried about some chip or something. Like, maybe he was going to go for the Hosanto a couple of times uh -huh. or something. Guy, definitely one of the more popular characters online when I play this game. He's so good. And he's fun because yeah. of that run cancel stuff. Yeah, he, so that's not a juggle. He keeps hitting her out of the roll. The yeah, roll is yeah. punishable. Yeah, any roll, forward rolls, you, there's multiple distance you could do, but when you do them, Ooh. you are you are you will get hit low, yeah. low. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. Oh, it was too far for that to connect. Usually, if it's not a Vi CC situation, you use standing medium kick to hit yeah. off of the Vi activation. Because if they're not blocking, you can just hit them with standing medium kick before they block. Ooh. Nice slide. Oh, the overhead again. again. And CDC Cassidy shaking his head like, I can't believe I died to the same thing <laughs> twice. Can't believe this happened again. Thinking I, about mi it. I miss oh. this character select theme. I yeah. love this character select it's theme. It's great. I, I love I just I love the aesthetic of Alpha 2. It's probably my visually and sound wise, it's probably my favorite of the Alpha series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I for example, I actually like the mechanics of Alpha 3 more. Yeah. But I, I do like the aesthetics of Alpha 2 a lot. The, the way Alpha 3 and 2 played is completely different. Yeah. <laughs> they are completely different games. Like people think the steps between like a Street Fighter 4 series were right. that No, Alpha 2 and Alpha 3 are not even I, can, I don't even consider them the same and series. And even Alpha or 1. Yeah. Alpha 1 is nothing like the others as well. Alpha 1 was bad and the other two were good. <laughs> so <laughs> Ooh, Chuck's are right at him. Yeah, I know. Not even scared of that illusion super at all. That crouching medium punch. Nice down. Bushin throw. God, I think they're so scary in Alpha 1. Here we go. Switch. Oh, yeah. So even if you go over while your custom's still going, you're facing the wrong yeah, way. You never you turn, don't turn around. around. You don't turn around. And you walk forward automatically. Yeah. You have to crouch to stop yourself walking or, or you know, do moves to keep yourself. And different levels of... The uh, custom combo mode have more invulnerability. Like yes. a level three custom, if somebody throws a fireball from mid screen, you can use the in invulnerability to pass through and punish with a massive combo. And one of the things that uh, Cassidy's got to do is stop going for that light roll every time he gets knocked yep. down, because Guy is still in range when he hits you with that medium Tatsu. Oh. That's unblockable, by the way. Yeah. yeah. That was unblockable. So if you do that meaty, 
the thing about it is none of the shadows have the proximity box, yep. and so you can't do anything about it. You pretty much have to try to reverse all out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's, yep. Any little button here. It, oh, it could have gone right into a drill. Nice air nice. throw. Okay. He's in. Oh, he tried to get cute and walk up and throw again. Got the link, too. Yeah, but he's just going to get punched. And there you go. Cassidy tying up one to one. Like I said, Cassidy not doing bad, but just got to make sure not to do those light rolls in those yep. situations where a guy can still keep the pressure going. Oh, again? Ooh. You going to get again here? Again is not very strong in Alpha 2, but he's just one of those characters that can catch you off guard if yep. you don't know how to fight him. So the, even the, the low tier in this game can fight. Mm -hmm. Like Birdie is considered one of the lower tier characters. It's not terrible. But it's definitely an uphill battle. <laughs> right. God, look at that. The walk speed of guys. Not even just the run cancels. The walk speed of this character is ridiculous. There's no dashes in this mm. game. So anything that's a uh, quick moving is all like a command command move. It's all commitment, too. You know? Ooh, oh, nice. Actually, can, I guess you can option select Rose's alpha counter. Yep, I believe so. Because that's exactly what uh, Blaze it's, did. If it's considered, uh, maybe if hers is considered a grab and that moves airborne, that's why. I, I, maybe there's more startup to it than I thought. Yeah. I, I thought it was almost instant, but I guess there is a little startup on that. Ooh. Sorry again. I, nice. like, it's been so long since I played these. There's games. the roll oh, again. And you know what? He took advantage of a glitch right there yeah, too. Yeah, that is. A, yep, I've heard. I've read about that. So if you kick him out of that roll after you custom combo, knock him down. The you, next hit pops him yep, up a little bit and higher. And you can do a juggle. And he gets the juggle after that. So, so there you crazy go. Crazy smart tech use there. Mm, look at all this. All the tech. I can't believe I remember all of this. <laughs> <laughs> like these things happen. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> So I misremembered Rose's uh, custom, co I mean, alpha counter there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thought it, it, it would always grab things, but uh, maybe not. All right, continuing down to the loser side, we're going to have now uh, Cookie going up against Yujiro. Yep, Yujiro, Yujiro, I think the only technically Midwest representative here in the top eight. Okay. Oh, I think they're going to reset the system. Yep. Yep. I don't know if Alpha, does Alpha, the Alpha series have an event mode? Yeah, it has an event mode. Okay, I'm I pretty thought sure so. it does. That's one of the nice things about playing on an arcade, original arcade. You can just go instantly reset it back yeah. to the character select screen. It was always an interesting one because when we ran tournaments back then, event mode was sometimes frowned upon because when you won, that means you had to put in another quarter. Ah, so it felt like the arcade was trying yeah. to steal your money instead yeah. of staying on with your character, you know. But some arcades would do it on purpose to get that extra money. There so. you go. If you're going to play on the machine, you better pay. <laughs> but using Zangief. Zangief also very strong. So yep. the reason why he's so strong is because the Vi CC, he has the longest range sweep. So yes. you have to be the most careful against his uh, Vi CC. Now, Zangief has very easy alpha, uh, very easy custom combos that don't do a ton of damage, mm -hmm. but he also has very advanced ones that do an insane yeah. amount of damage. But the execution behind <laughs> him is very tough. And that man. is another reason why Zangief's insanely good in the Alpha series. His normals yes. are incredibly large. He's got range in this. Is that Crouching Fierce? Oh, my yeah. God. Crouching Fierce, Standing Fierce is really good. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, that Jumping Fierce. He's got mm -hmm. that one-arm Superman lunge. Super good button right yes. there. Yeah. It's See the range on that? Oh, yep. my God. And, and Lariat's Lariat strong. Yep. good anti-air. Yep. But Geef has near inescapable tick throws with his SPD, mm -hmm. where you pretty much have to use something invulnerable to get out. Especially with the super as yeah. well, yeah. But we still haven't seen uh, Yujiro use any of that meter. No. He has been sitting on that meter. No customs, no uh, alpha counters. That's it. Oh, I think he was oh. going for Any block to you know, jump in, light kick or something, from Geef could go into a level three. But Yujiro just can, kind of content to try to win this out with his footsies. Yeah, I know. He Ooh. says, I don't need Mita to defeat you. Ah, oh, traded. a trade. Yeah, there you go. And Ooh. Kukai there reeling back. It's like, what What happened? How did that <laughs> train? Ties it up one round apiece. Oh, 
Where's the light SVD? I don't know if Alpha 2 is the same as Alpha 3, where Kara canceling the SVD gives it extra range. He almost doesn't need it in this one, because <laughs> the range is almost right. double of what Alpha 3's is. Where in Alpha 3, he has to kind of use the yeah. Kara to get that range. Oh, just walked into that fireball. Remember, I got I mastered that in Alpha 3. I don't. I never used it in Alpha 2, because <laughs> obviously we didn't know about it, but I'm not sure if it actually exists in this version or not. The SVD is so fast. Oh, look at the chip. That's so much chip. Burn all of his meter. Oh, nice there. Got the yeah. clean hit. That's the only problem is you do that little chip. Oh, no, this will do it. Oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. No health remaining, basically, on the bar. Anything blocked. Yeah, uh, Yujiro has not used any meter this entire <laughs> it's time. very odd. So. Zangu's meter is so good. Yeah. Especially, you know, once you get them scared and jumping, you can Superman them out of the air with the level three. <laughs> And he's got some. And Geef had some interesting tricks in that game too. Like if you if you hit a max range, you know, buffered light or something, you do it, go into a green hand, and then you're in range for an SPD mm -hmm. right afterwards. Kind of almost like an old uh, Street Fighter Four trick there. <laughs> he goes back to Ryu. That was who he was using in the winners bracket. Oh, damage on that. Oh, nice sweet punish. Oh, beautiful cross up. And there we go. Twice now getting that uh, soul heavy soul spiral combo. A yep. lot of damage, no anti-air, and walks up for the throw. Here we go, down to almost no yeah, life and a beautiful is. prediction on the fireball. You can see every time Kukai wins a round, you know, mimicking Rose's stance. Oh, yeah, gets really into it. Oh, the dang it, damage on it. I miss, I miss damaging anti-airs like that. Oh, there we go, the level one, but you see how slow it travels, so it yep. has the potential to just do that. Woo. Again, no anti-air. But I'm glad y Yujiro is spending some meter now. There, there it is. Go. Perfect round. Anti-air. And you get the P symbol right there. Perfect. And you get different symbols for the rounds as well. Mm -hmm. You win by chip damage. For example, you get a cheese block of cheese. <laughs> oh, nice reflect. But we're sitting on a lot. Oh, oh, no. no. The Big jump damage. timing from Cook. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Look at all that chip. Ow. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know what? You're going to eat all this chip, and you're going to like it. Oh, it's right that's over, it. and the two-in-one from the Fierce. How many times did Kukai jump over the fireball and get the punish? Just at that point, had a read on Yujiro's fireball timing. Yep, and Yujiro is out at fifth place. So uh, good stuff to him, making it into this top eight. Cookie moves on. Next match coming up here, losers Spending bracket Blaze matches is uh, yeah, Chex Quest and Blaze. Believe that's Blaze on the player one side. Yep, on the right side of your screen, Chex 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 mix <laughs> on the left. <laughs> Chex Quest. Yeah, I know Chex Quest. Sorry. I said when we were talking about the the Doom mod of, the, yeah, of that yeah. game, I was like, there were so many of those floating around. I think I had a Barney one at one point where. <laughs> All the monsters were replaced with Barney, and it was terrifying. Uh, so you could just slaughter Barney. Yeah, as pretty much. much. That's all it okay, was. Okay, yeah. I would appreciate that. So. Quick button check for them both. Maybe trying to get his stick plugged in correctly. And the nice thing, all these. Retro stations, it's USB plugins that oh, it's. Is it the all, they're all the undammed boards, right? Yep. Okay. And you just, it's plug and play. Uh, pretty much if you have an Xbox, I think maybe, I think they support PS4 now. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I think they do. Uh, I didn't know, so I just, I was using mine in PS3 yeah, 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 mode yeah. still, but it didn't matter. And then basically, even if your controller has an interesting uh, layout, you can hold, uh, I think it's the three punches when you plug it in. Yeah. And then it'll blink, and then that. And then you can assign it by just tapping the buttons in a specific order to assign it to that. It, it's crazy how people have been able to develop this to basically reinvent, you know, the arcade setting mm -hmm. playing on these mm -hmm. original setups, how the games was intended. Because a lot of this, I mean, these were cr created on hardware that was, you know, very, very many years right. old nowadays that it's hard to properly emulate on a digital console. And also keep in mind that guy, even with that Bushin flip, cannot throw people once they're in the corner. Yeah. So a lot of times you would try to go to the corner to hide over there, you know. Nice! Oh. Faded oh, it out, but out. he drops the combo. 
Can't block uh, another boom here. Yeah, yeah there it is. I also miss chip damage. <laughs> Got the uh, cheese, stinky cheese yeah, logo there. There you go. Nice boom. Sonic boom. Charlie's booms have a lot of speed. Like each version has a, quite a different speed variation. Mm -hmm. Like the heavy one, quite fast. Trying to bait out that flash kick yep. again. Guy, guy's a character that he gets in faster than any other character in the game because of his movement speed. Barring potentially Akuma, just because of Akuma's abilities. Oh no, too far. I mean, Sonic, he, oh. Actually, he just didn't get the next Sonic Boom out fast enough, so it missed. The nice thing about the Alpha count, I mean, the custom combos in this game is they Ooh. do last very short. Yeah. Unlike Alpha 3, where they last 10,000 years. Oh no! Oh, he ran out. Still an opportunity. Yeah, oh, he, he got, got it. There it was. Yeah. That's a standing medium kick. Oh, was that actually cheese or no? Gonna, is it a cheese? Yeah. Dang. Right okay, right, that was quite a, lot a bit. Of, lot of chip damage there. All right, back to back stinky cheese matches here. <laughs> uh, standing for special move yes. uh, victory. Ooh. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. Nice whiff punish. That was one of the reasons why Guy, Guy was really good is because that standing medium kick hit so far. Not normally cancelable, but in custom combos, they're all cancelable. Great custom combo there. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Oh. Could have did a lot more than that. Had a pretty comfortable life leader. Oh, that's going to hit. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah, And not only that, but he it was only a level one custom, so there was no invincibility. Yep. Had it been a level three, so you lose invincibility the first as soon as you touch a button. Yeah. So you activate, let them kick with, and then you hit the button. Even yep. if you hit the button too early, it might. Oh, is he really going to do this guy thing? <laughs> I'd love to see again, but you know. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, again, again, yep. again, again. And and the reason why it didn't that. Charlie didn't get blown back from it is is because it was still active. You can't get blown back out of an active normal. He, I think what he's doing is not trying to pick yet again. I think he's picking his stage. Yes, yes. That's what he's doing because both times he's done this, he's ended up on the Gen stage. You could do that. You could go there, hold a certain button. I think yep. it was like start. and then I think, you Yeah, could. if you press start on uh, character, I believe uh -huh. you select their stage yeah. and then you select your character. There's also some hidden stages, like you can play on Bisons and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he's doing. He's not actually yep. threatening to use Git. He it's, just wants to play on that background. And a lot of people, stages kind of matter in this game slightly. Some stages cause a little bit more native mm. lag, just from too much going on yeah, at yeah, one yeah, time. Yeah. And I mean, there's not much happening in the background of this one, so maybe that's the reason why uh, Blaze wants to play it. No, no yep. too much activity. Those booms out there. Whoops. Yep, get the juggle. Anything juggles in that mode. Yep. Again, everyone keeps doing the oh. light roll. Oh, he tried to with punish and die. Not going to happen there. Oh, oh, motion flip. Just that wall jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah, too far. Walking him down. Blaze eating a lot of unnecessary damage here. He's ran yeah. into a few fireballs. But he can easily pick it back up with one nice read here. He is jumping so much. And oh, no. oh, no. That's bad. Yeah, I think he tried to do an activation into the spin kicks. Nice block. Oh, but then he got yeah. caught low. He got caught low. So there we go. Check's quest now one round away from taking this. And, and the nice thing is about Alpha 2, even if you kind of mess up the proper custom combo, just try hitting some mm, heavy punches yeah. or fireballs. It will oh, combo. Oh, see, he tried to go through the Sonic Boom right there with the custom invincibility, but he only had a level one. Yep. So he didn't have enough invincibility to make it through. Yeah, you either have to wait until it's practically about to hit you to go through mm. with a level one, or it just it might not be possible in yeah. that case. Especially with a slow Sonic Boom. Yeah, so if it's a slow one, it probably is impossible. Yeah. Quest though on match point here. Oh, nice life lead, and he's got three bars too. Yeah, and he hasn't really had to use much of it. Nope. Because uh, I feel like Blaze has just Ooh. been running into a bunch of stuff and opening himself to get it. Oh, he oh, should be able to get it. it too. And oh, that's gonna but the do custom it. blowback right there is gonna do yes. it. Because he was too far from the corner, he actually yeah. couldn't get the juggle. He might have been able to cancel into like the little elbow. I think he missed it. I just he just missed it because yeah. I saw a roundhouse and it just I think he just missed the input. Mm -hmm. And then uh, unfortunately just uh, tried to walk up, do a hero throw, but then got met with a custom combo and was taken out. So we are moving straight into winner's finals shortly after a quick uh, break, I believe. All right, so definitely do not go anywhere. We have some more matches coming up.
Oh, I didn't see you there. Sorry. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more Combo Breaker 2019 in just a little bit. Oh. Hopefully you've been enjoying Combo Breaker 2019, but the fighting game action does not stop there. Next weekend, May 31st through June 2nd is DreamHack Dallas. You can see all the fighting games listed over on the right side of the screen. And if you'd like to sign up now, there's a 10% discount on tickets with the code COMBOBREAKER19. The hassle of a long-term contract just to get the latest smartphone, it's too complicated. You can get the new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus on a lightning-fast nationwide network. New phone, no contract. Simple. Get truly unlimited 4G LTE data for just $45 a month. Simple Mobile. Out with the old, in with the simple. If you're a bit bored during these combo breaker breaks, why don't you check out Duck Game, available now on the Switch. You can pop it out, play on the plane while you're headed over to another event. 24% discount, $9 and some change. Now available, it's been out on Steam for a while. Check it out. Hey, FGC, it's Duck Game! Adult Twins Duck-based multiplayer has finally arrived on Nintendo Switch. Play it with friends. Hey. Play it alone. Hello. Play it everywhere. So long. <laughs> Everyone loves Duck Game! Duck Game! Available now for Nintendo Switch! And holy duck, it's on sale now! If you want to unleash the beast and play to your optimum level, check out one of these Hitbox controllers. You can take control and find them now over at hitboxarcade.com.
you want to level up your execution, check out the Paradise Arcade Shop Magenta. It's silent, it's precise, it's fantastic. You can find it over at pasmagenta.com. If you're heading to Combo Breaker 2019 or any other majors on the tour, you of course want a stick and bag for it, which you can pick up over at Quamba USA. There's a code now for 10% off site-wide using code CB2019. It expires next Friday, so go ahead and take this opportunity to pick up something over at Quamba. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Alpha 2 action here at Combo Breaker 2019. We're in the middle of top eight. I think we're down to the top four. Yep. And this is uh, winner's finals coming up yeah. here. Justin Wong from the like Player the, 2 the side. The guy has the uh, Alpha 2 selection yeah. screen on his shirt. Nice. Okay. Going up against Vic Viper playing Sakura. Two, again, very strong characters here. Vic Viper was using some really good use of the Vaya Custom earlier, as well as uh, the strong strong thing about Sakura is that she gets a lot of cross-up setups, even after like a, a successful alpha counter and mm -hmm. things like that. And Justin really hasn't used the Vaya CC much at all, and there no. we see one of the nice things about Rose, having that long-range low roundhouse, just didn't even get hit by Sakura's alpha yep. counter. And that's the thing about Rose is that she doesn't have to play that kind of that similar Alpha 2 gameplay style there. You know, people want to rely on the customs. But she has that built in this, <laughs> this mode thing, where yeah, you just uh -huh. get it one touch just as uh -oh. you can. Oh, that'll do some good damage regardless of that super. Yep. yep. Just staying in that little, super. Look how much damage that chip did. Yeah, I know. And even got a little extra juggle off it. Wow. He was standing, but just was too far away yep, or just far. didn't get the low roundhouse fast enough. Yeah, if, if you start moving forward before you actually hit the you know the button, it's not going to be like that instant low mm -hmm. anymore. So Justin building some meter by whipping those buttons. Oh, Ten seconds left. Got a healthy life leak and just kind of chill here. Wait this out. Justin knows that. Yeah, he's, he's looking at it. Me, so yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. Vic Viper's trying to build some meter. Yeah, yeah. both building meter. Love that they reproduced the stage on five. Oh yeah, really. But I feel like Sakura's brother didn't get any older. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is what I mean by the way, Justin. Look how lame this guy is playing with Rose, man. He's but just not doing anything. And Half Life just gone, just like that yeah. as well. Oh, well, there okay. we go. 
gets the knockdown. Oh no, he drops the confirm. Oh, here we go. Not gonna drop that one. Yep. You can see just like that already, he's got the life lead. But barely. Oh no. Oh. Try to move his way in. He, he's fishing for it. He wants that level one. Oh! oh, and he's gonna die by chip. Oh. So he had the alpha counter the other side. Here we go. One be. more mix up. He yes. got to the other side again. That is the strength of those cross up setups. You just get to kind of loop that over and over. You it, just input that late enough to where it kind of whiffs. Yeah, it just doesn't look like it's gonna go to the other side all of a sudden. No. Good round from Vic Viper there. Powering up. Oh, even it, it, it just even buffs, on the train, yeah, yeah, it even buffs the anti air damage so high. Okay, you didn't in. necessarily need a knockdown to get the juggles. There was a certain Ooh. real animation frame before they left it. You could keep juggling them. And that was the way that that whole thing kind of went. Nice whiff punish. Just to just activating it just to be scary. Ooh. I feel like. Oh God, they're not oh. doing anything. We got him! Got him! Yeah, it got him standing. So big damage here. Oh, he had an opportunity right there. Justin now with an opportunity. Oh, the beautiful walk, walk yep, throw, nice. but he teched. Yep. Way to reduce the damage on the throw there. Oh! oh Anti-air throw, technically. Sniffed out yeah. the empty jump, and he gets a throw, and Vic Viper going up one game to zero. Uh, is it three out of five winners finals here? I, I believe so. Okay, okay. Yes, I believe it is. It should be three out of five. Okay. Vic Viper taping, taking game one there. Oh, is it? Yeah, yep, same with Rose. Got the Rose background music here now. Yeah. Playing in Italy. Uh, Venice. Yeah, I believe it's, it's Venice, yeah. He's got all the gondolas. Oh, and yeah. yeah. Oh, that jumping fierce from Sakura was good even back in Alpha 2 days, man. So good. I do like what Vic Viper's doing. He says, you know what? You want to play lame. If I've got the life lead, I'll just play your game. Yep. I'm just going to kick it back here. I'm not even worried. One thing you don't want to do, though, is give her free meter like that with a fireball. Jesus, so much damage. Yeah. Okay, good crouch blocking and see you can make them waste their meter like that. That is the biggest weakness of the Vi CC is that yeah. if it's activated and you are low blocking, if they can't find an overhead or a mix up in the middle of that, guess what? They have no oh. more meter. Oh, see that jump fierce from Sakura. So, yeah. It's got a great hitbox. Oh, got it. Should do enough. Oh, no, not enough. Justin's only got 12 seconds left. Oh, oh my gosh. God, so much damage again. Seven seconds, five seconds. Oh no! Yeah, oh Justin. my god, how did he get those to hit? How did he get those how to did hit? He, I don't understand. I, I think Vic Viper was so scared of the throw. That's at that what point. it was. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's a two frame normal, or <laughs> it's insanely fast. It yeah. probably isn't two, but. That crouching Strong is kind of dumb. There's a reason why it's considered one of the best normals <laughs> in the game. And there's that ambiguous cross yeah, up. So strong. All the damage there is. Again! A what side is it? Nice, and one more alpha counter instead yep, just walks throw. up. Yep, just punches him. Vic Viper definitely doing a much better job than Justin taking advantage of Alpha 2. Yep. Justin just playing yes, a very counter. Um, a very simple game. You know, he's winning the way he wants to win. But there's definitely a lot of things that he could be doing more. Like like I said, no vice he sees from Justin. He's been kind of sticking to his game plan and using that. Yeah, nice yep. jump in there. She has kind of a quick jump. Ooh. Yeah, just block that whole thing. Free meter there for Justin. Oh. Ow. <laughs> so all he's doing is just building that meter. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, throw that fireball, whiff that reflect, build some more meter. There he goes. Got a level one again. Yep. And then he just Similar. activates it. Yep, similar to like third strike games where you can whiff, you know, normals to build yep. meter. You can do that in alphas as well. It's not as good as it is in third strike. No. But, uh... right. oh. oh, thick viper though. Oh, with two bars, has that custom stocked up. Ooh, 
Yep. Oh, and a oh, that will it do is it right there. Yeah. What a whiff punish. Justin got caught using that drill in the footsie. Oh, the Viper was ready. Everybody is cheering here. They don't want to see Justin come and take everybody's money. The Alpha 2 players are like, no, we're going to defend our own game here. Keep him with Rose. Justin being a little more aggressive already at the start, walking up and trying to go for those sweeps. Oh. There we go. So throws in this game are, are they're one button throws. Mm -hmm. I think Alpha 3 was the first game to implement uh, yeah, two button throws, button throws or yeah. multi button throws. And it was two punches and two kicks. Just out of range. Oh god, that damage again. Oh! Oof. But you know what? Vic Viper's got that meter again. That's why Justin's trying to build it up. Because he's he needs to get something going. See, Justin not moving because he's afraid of that custom activation yep. from Vic Viper. He's Doesn't want to get Vi CC'd. He's been on point with him for the most part. Oh! That's going to trade. No, Vic Viper won! Yes! And you know what? That wow. Okay. Vic what? Viper's at match point now. What a read. See what Justin can come up with here. Otherwise, Vic Viper oh. is going to be able to move on to Grand Finals. Powered up. Yeah, I still traded. You saw I traded yep. with the shadow. It, it's really about, I mean, even if you trade there, but you get that good knockdown from the alpha counter to set up those ambiguous cross-ups. OK. Nice. Justin's ready for it now. Oh, snuck in an overhead. Yep, there goes all that meter. Oh, my, he was trying to fourth throw. Oh, just kind okay, of ambiguous time. Oh, and once again. Oh, no. he drops it. So that's going to give Justin an opportunity here. Okay, powered up. Oh, nice alpha counter. But again, a trade on that. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wow. God, that dude a lot of chip. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> That, that wasn't a legitimate victory. It was cheese. That's the power of Rose in this game. Yeah, I'm using that early. That's what, how you beat that crouching fierce yeah. from Rose. You got to do that preemptive jumping fierce. Right the thing, if Justin can predict it, he can just do nothing. Yep. Stay crouching and go under it and punish it. Yeah. But the problem is then Sakura can use jumping roundhouse and kick you in the head or something. Oh, Ooh. that was unblockable yep. again. Nice. Yeah, yep. just worth don't it. Worth deal yep. with that. Take the trade any day in that situation if you're in Vic Viper's situation. All right. Oh! Oh, man. There you go. So scary. It's all coming down to here. Vic Viper might be able to take it over Justin. One activation away. He just needs that one Vi CC. Oh, nope. Justin was blocking. Nice Got overhead. Got with overhead. Didn't get the uppercut in time, so it wasn't going to do the damage. Here we go. Justin now. And. Uh, Vic Viper, same damage. Oh, oh there guess is. what button it was? It was crouching Boom. strong. Oh, man, Justin winning barely by the skin of his teeth. <laughs> yeah. On the board, though, Vic Viper still with a 2-1 to one lead in this winner's finals. Going back to Sakura's stage. I think that nice. it always goes to the challenger stage if they don't yep. hit the stage themselves. Justin with an early lead here. I'm wondering if he's going to power up. Yep, there it is, since he almost has another bar built up. Yeah, see, people, when they were used to Justin's Rufus and like and Storm from Marvel 3, they... Oh! oh! Heavy drill did so much! Yeah, now that they're all used to the monot that he has, people didn't know how lame Justin was <laughs> back in his day, man. God. This dude put you to sleep. Viper got in there with that short short. Cool. Hit him out of the air so that caused the knockdown. 
but it wore out uh, Rose's super. Yep. Oh no, he missed the cross up. It was just a little. Justin walked a little too far under. There we go. Justin just remembered about Rose's slide while in the while in uh, the super as a kind of a uh, free way to get in. Yep. Viper walking out has a meter built up. Might not be able to kill with a level one, but Sakura's does pretty good damage. Oh, oh just walked into the fireball. Oh. Whoa. Just slipped through each other. Not close enough for that to connect. So now he's got to figure out a way to get the comeback with just maybe like the, the standard Sakura cross-up shenanigans. So I'm pretty sure Vic Viper is using the, he might, it looks like he's using the Kara glitch to build a little extra meter okay, while he's okay, throwing fireballs. Okay. You kind of almost plink a button into the special. Yeah. You get just a little bit of extra meter. Just for that whiff normal. Yep. Tried to throw. It was yeah. too far, but Justin didn't care anyway. He was like, go ahead and throw me. Yeah. I'm not going to take any damage. So now we're at 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, Justin just trying to make like a that. comeback and look at Vic Viper drinking from that giant gallon of water. Wow. Got the jug out. Stay hydrated. Here he comes Quick back in. Yep. Taking a, a second there just to think about it, but definitely not going to change characters, I don't think. Yep. Sticking with it. Game five of winner's finals. Two to two, Vic Viper and Justin Wong. Oh, oh, double sweep. He's catching him out of those yeah. light rolls. Can't, do, can't be doing that. Justin's ready for it every time. Oh, he, I, he was trying to yeah. catch him out of the roll mm -hmm. with that activation. Oh, he's going to catch him. Yeah, that was beautiful. He saw Justin was in the middle of the move and he came out with a crouching light kick to beat him before he could do anything. Yep, didn't get a ton of damage on it. He put himself in the Ow! Ross, ouch! And then those extra hits. Oh, I like the jump in the air block. Oh, there here go. we go. There's the anti-air. Great damage. Good block from Justin, and oh. guess what? It's the crowd strong. Guess who's at match point? It is so hard to, to throw her with a normal throw because of that normal if yeah. you mistime it at all. So we just went from Vic Viper being up 2-0, and now Justin is the first one at a match point here. Yep, Justin with a nice big comeback this whole match. Or did, I think Vic Viper Whoa. had a match, one match point in game yep. number three. Yep, one so, yeah. match point. Oh, there's that crouching strong again. Man, Justin just sitting at point by and staring oh, no. at him. A little bit of impatience. Oh, he's going to be able to get that. Yes, there we go, but not much damage. There's the throw. What's the setup? Stays in front. Ooh. Oh, whip punish again. Oh, Ow. the damage. Oh, here we go. No, no he drops the combo. No, this is bad. And uh, the train yeah. right there. <laughs> See Justin stick his tongue out. He was like, <laughs> ah, yeah, that was super lame. Even Javi back there laughing as well, <laughs> dude. Oh, so Justin's going to be in grand finals. I think that match lasted just as long as all the other matches combined that you, we've you seen are, in top eight. You are definitely right on that. <laughs> oh, man. But we're going back to loser semis now, where it's going to be uh, checks, uh, checks. Quest. Checks Quest against Cookie. Versus Cookie. I was like, why can't I remember <laughs> the Checks Quest? Got food on the brain, Checks Mix. Yeah, uh, I know, I need right? some, Get some sustenance, all right. Ilaris there with the assist to reset the system. Yep. You know, there is another Rose in this tournament. Cookie has been doing really well with Rose. Definitely. I'm tournament long. I'm wondering uh, who knocked Cookie into losers, if it was possibly Justin Wong's oh, Rose. I'm or not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Rose versus Charlie. I always felt like if, if Charlie was about to lose, the plane should have shot the other guy, right? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of just like chilling there. Oh, cross up, but didn't yeah. combo it, so it's yep. going to eat a custom for his troubles. Uh, it looked like that can blow up. If you suspect they're going for a tick throw attempt, you can use the custom combo activation to beat throws. Yep. Ah, the delayed on the second one. Yep. That's his uh, his uh, yeah. super. He can yep. uh, at level two. He throws three of them at four at level three. So you could, but you can delay when you throw them. Yep. And I like that one of them in the level four is thrown by a kick. 
Ratchet does a little Sobot and throws one out. Nice right there for Cookie. Once again, getting out of the corner, full bar here. Back to full screen over here. Maybe building a little meter with that light flash kick. Oh no, no anti-air right there. Wasn't expecting that jump. You can see how the fast, how fast. Oh, oh the that's blowback. Pressure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh no, he's going to be OK. Yeah. And then read that moment that he tried to walk forward. Nice flash kick. Chex Quest takes it, I think. Yeah, Chex Quest looking very solid right now. Takes game one. Still two out of three situation here. Vic Viper waiting to play in losers finals against either Cookie or Chex Quest, who is up 1-0 over Cookie. <laughs> well, doubt Cookie's going to be changing characters. No. It's tough to switch away from Rose in this game. Yeah. Trying to play some footsies here, literally by both characters not doing anything. Yeah. Reflect. Oh, I didn't even see what uh, Chex Quest did that traded. No, yeah. <laughs> nice flex there for Cookie. Ooh, nice. Okay, good distance on that. Makes the flash kick with, but now both of them sitting on a lot of meter here. So we're going to have to watch out for a Vi CC of some sort. Oh, no, that was not what Cookie was trying to do. Definitely no. wanted a fireball instead of an uppercut, in my opinion. Right, activates up. Tries to get in. Look how much meter Chex Quest has. Yeah. He really doesn't have, he just, he's content to sit there, keep chucking the booms. There, delays it. Yeah, he chooses to spend one meter that way. Yep, another meter spent, just going for a little bit of chip or just trying to catch something off guard. Time is starting to become a factor, almost mm -hmm. 10 seconds left. I imagine Cookie's gonna try to activate into level one to super maybe. Oh, there Both it is, throw. throw. But two you know seconds, what? To stay seconds. on the floor, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to do it. And that's spending a lot of meter to lose that round. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that decision necessarily, but we'll see. Checks quest on match point. Cookie down to the last round, potentially. Nice. Okay. Right, trying to apply this pressure. Nice. Chex Charlie Quest rushed out. Oh, There's the empty jump. That was sick. Yes. After landing empty jump throw already, then empty jump in the custom. Yeah, that's dirty. Oh. Chex Quest moves on. Good stuff from Cookie fourth out in place. fourth place. Yep. Chex Quest has the now the reward of going up against Vic Viper. Yes. To see who was going to go up against Justin Wong. And he gets a little bonus ma bonus matches in this next set. <laughs> Losers finals, three out of five. Vic Viper a li looked a little devastated after blowing that two-game yeah. lead against Justin Wong. I miss Sodom's theme. <laughs> yeah. There's so many good themes that were created in the Alpha 1, Alpha 2 days. Oh, yeah. I still think Dan's theme is one of the greatest themes <laughs> ever created. And then, you know, Put the coin in there, ready to go. Uh, a little bit of a trivia there. Guy's music and Rolento's music in this game were based off of two Final Fight stage songs. Yeah. I guess funny, when I was young growing up, I don't think I actually actually ever beat Final Fight. Oh, yeah. I think I'd get to, like, the second or third level. Yeah, and, that, and then, and then it's, it's just, like, it was too hard at that point. Thought I'm going to come in the ring and just, like, murder yeah, you. you know? was, oh, I'm sorry, Katana. Yeah, I was too young then, back then to, you know, take advantage of, like, you know, glitches and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. So I only had the Super Nintendo version oh, of Final okay, Fight. Okay, okay. That means you didn't have a guy. No, you nope. had Cody and Hagger. It was just Cody like, Hagger. Yep. Yeah. Until they made Final Fact Guy, where they took out Cody and put <laughs> in this guy. But look at this. Chex Quest's going nuts on Vic Viper right now. Oh, what Ooh. the heck? What is a hitbox? What is a hitbox, James? 
It is a controller that you can purchase as exactly. one of the sponsors of... Just be sure to use the correct one. <laughs> oh, the empty into custom again. Oh, we missed the flash yep. kick. Lost the Actually, you don't have to charge flash kicks during that mode. Yeah, I um, that's right. That's right. Something that a lot of people might not be aware of. Oh, too far, but gets him with the overhead. Oh, my God. But nice tech Ooh. and the counter jab right there. So I, I, see, I see you coming at me. I see I'm going to jab you. All right. One round apiece. Nice flash kick. Ready for it right away. Like I said, Tex Quest had a great first round where he was just doing such a great job zoning Vic out there. But then Vic getting in there for round number two. Let's see how round number three plays out. That's not going to hit in time. Yeah. A little bit more screen control here. Oh, yep. man. Not enough. That said, that yeah. slow boom, it's too hard to pass through. And then sometimes, even if you do have enough and you pass through, but then you hit a button too early and the fireball is still in you. There's that, yeah, there's that like really fast level one you are talking mm -hmm. about earlier. Gonna get hit by it if you're not blocking in time. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, there was that kicked. meaty, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, stopped it, but look, but Quest still has a big old life lead right now. Oh, there yeah, it is, good, good damage. Start. Yeah, level one does great damage. Oh, no, oh, no, no. again, double oh, no. Yeah, I, tried to, I think he tried to cancel into a level one super, yeah. it failed. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah nice yeah, yeah, delay. Yeah, yeah. You got quite a large window to kind of choose when to throw mm -hmm. that next one. Vic Viper probably should have just uh, hung back a little bit, blocked the first one, and then went after. I, I mean, I think he had enough to block the first one. It Maybe looked not. like it, yeah. Maybe not. I can't remember now. I'd have to use my amazing photographic memory to. No, I wish. Yeah. Jeez. But then you know, it, was there enough? Blo is there enough blocks then for him to be able to see that and then just quickly throw the right, second one exactly. and still get you? Yep. Well, Vic Viper going to stick with Sakura, although getting zoned out in classic Guile zoning style. Yep. I mean, it's funny because, like, those who aren't familiar with Nash back then and are knowing more for Street Fighter V probably didn't realize how much of a zoning Guile he really was. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. See, the, the way that flash kick kind of hits during the custom, it makes it a little bit safer than it probably should be, but... Mm -hmm. Definitely looked like it was punishable there. All right, using that alpha counter to get back in and going for the throw, but side switching. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, you get a really good cross up setup on that kind of noogie throw. And most uh, older fighting games did not allow you. Oh, he tried, didn't get it, but it's safe. But most old fighting games did not allow you to cross up anybody in the corner. Yeah. Like a lot of modern fighting games let you do now. And the only times you could is if it was like a weird character specific yeah. setup or weird weird stuff like that. Yeah, but then you see again that cross up from Sakura so hard to block. I'm, again, you know, back then I, when we when I used to play this game, yeah, you get hit by it all the time. But we didn't really have the science on why if there was ambiguous that she could do either way. Yep. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not. It's, Still not even 100% sure, though. I know a lot of the <laughs> Alpha 2 experts now probably know a yep. lot more than before. Oh, oh. Good oh no, oh. we got hit by the overhead. Yeah, that's right. The Sobot is actually an overhead for Charlie, but it's yep. just very slow. Tried to beat out the anti-air with that jumping custom. Yep, that that was the made. ultimate call out. Could have tried to make a flash kick whiff, but Chexwiss has the life lead here trying to uh, Put this into the third round. Nice anti-air gets one more. There's that cross up, and here we go. Guess what? Okay, that was clearly from the front because he took a step back. Got to watch out for his own custom. Oh, yeah, he went he's for just it. good patience. That's good stuff from Vic Viper. Yeah, Chex Quest has done that too many times. Walk up into custom. You need to walk up and throw to get the opponent more scared of yeah. the custom. But pretty much, Vic Viper was well aware. The only thing that would really kind of kill him in that situation could have taken two or three throws. Yeah. Keep adding some more credits. That's that. It's the old uh, GGPO online rage credit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, I was about to say, was he gonna switch to Dalsum or did he pick the stage? He picked the stage. Ah, okay. uh, there's the. That's the best soccer color. 
That gray and orange. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that one. And because Dalsim is not being played, his wife is not seen on the stage. Huh. That's another good trivia there. Uh, if she is being played, she basically cheers every time he hits you, and she winces every time you hit Dalsim. <laughs> it's amazing. All these little touches that I miss in these old fighting games. <laughs> Oh, Whoa, where yeah. are you going? Where are you going? Big Viper went for a throw. Nice cross up. Finishes hands, it. Yeah, hands over the custom combo activation at all times because it's so easy to react with it. Again, it's either two punches and a kick or two kicks and a punch. Nice anti air. Big Viper's been on point with those anti air customs. Uh oh. But, oh, unfortunate. It's good damage here. Yeah, I mean, the most damage you can get out of a little meter. Oh no, I guess Nelson's wife is still back over there. Mm hmm. Oh, not enough meter. Right. Delays it. Still, there. yeah, it gets over it. For some reason, I remember Dawson's wife being on this side of the screen. I guess <laughs> she's on the other side of the screen. Yeah. Oh no, no, that's not his wife. That's not his wife. That's somebody else. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay. Check's quest going in when he probably didn't need to. Okay. Don't wanna don't wanna push too far in to get eat a suck you know a sucker by a custom. Yeah. Okay. That's what Check's quest is worried about right now. He could lose a ton of life off of that. Oh, he went for yeah, nice was, patience from Chex Quest. Yeah, he's really trying to bait out that anti-air from Chex Quest. That's why he jumped yep. kind of clearly when he was charged to, to go through that flash kick and punish upon landing. But, but Chex Quest, smart block, out yep. the counter, takes that. Great awareness to realize that situation and what Vic Viper was going for. That's twice that he successfully defended that. Back to Sakura stage. This is it right here. Vic Viper's got to do this. Yep. He was so close to beating Justin as well. So close. And if he ends up losing this one and going out 0-2 after getting the winner's finals, after being so close to beating yes. Justin, that's going to sting for a little bit. Nice confirm from Vic Viper. Gets that jump in. Short, short. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, nice. Just shut that down right now. Goes for the alpha counter. Oh, he got the jump in, but too far for him to do any combo. Just a jump medium kick, crouching medium kick. Here we go. Oh, Ooh. last second, but good defense right there from Vic Viper. Gets the throw. Here comes Vic. Outside. Oh, yep, there's a cross up. Gets such a deep cross up after that throw. See that great crouching medium kick from Charlie. Oh, oh. but watch out. They both have that vibe. There's CC, the throw. But you know what? I think Chex Quest said, you know what? I baited it out enough that Vic Viper is yep. too scared to activate it, gonna, so I'm just going to get the throw. And not only that, but he was probably going to block because he was scared Chex Quest was going to do the walk up custom thing that he's been doing so oh. much. That's stun. This is stun territory here. Next hit. Is he going to stun on the throw? No. Nope. Not quite. Oh, he got the flash kick out in time. Wow. Saved himself from that situation. He's going to miss. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to activate and yep. go for the level three and get some damage. Oh, in. Oh. There, what counter throw. throw. That was a, such a quick block stun. Yeah. All right, so Vic Viper with the chance to stay alive right now just needs to take one more match. So one much more round, there. and it'll be 2-2. Two -two. Great use of hiding that charge. Chexpress has been doing that very well. Oh. Blocked the cross up, but did not get the low. Oh. No anti-air there, and again, the alpha counter to stay oh, in the no, cross-up. Oh, no, that's going to do it. Yes. And the sun is going to make sure. Oh, did you see that? Oof. Emphatic button <laughs> press from Vic Viper. Straight cross to the jawbone yeah. of Charlie. Vic Viper. Ties it up two to two. Not going down <laughs> no, just yet. Talking about how hard Vic Viper hit that last button. <laughs> he wants that rematch versus Justin <laughs> Wong. He's upset. Definitely. Dalsum, okay. No, it's just the picking the stage again. Yep, yep. Like said, Dalsum stage. I mean, the elephant's playing with the apple. How cute is that? Yeah, he's having a good time. Now yeah, let's see if uh, Vic can. I'm sorry, Chex Quest can get back to that uh, uh, zoning game that he was playing a little bit earlier against Vic Viper. Right, 
the booms. Keep the space. Yep. No. Ooh, too far. Just to, but just to stay in. Do not get pushed back yeah. is basically what that was about. Don't want to give up. Oh, there no. it is. Yeah, Good you damage. Forgot. Oh, oh no, he hit him out of the air, so. Yeah, just a little early. But wasn't hugely punished afterwards. No. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a combo into that fierce uppercut. Now you got to deal with that. Chex Quest building the meter here. Both are about almost to two bars for Chex Quest. Can, yep, you're going to use oh, yeah, the two that's one. Be close enough. Oh, but he took too long to throw the second one. He no. got him. Nice block. Oh, yeah, too close. Oh, oh he got away. He got away. Yeah, oh. flash kick. That time, Big Fiber did not have any meter, so he knew to flash kick. Good stuff from Chex Quest on tournament point here. Yep, back to the Sonic Boom chucking here. Suddenly crouching because he's trying to predict the forward <laughs> jump. Yep. Nice, nice. Yep. there we go. Great anti-air with that. Great damage from that. And again, the ambiguous cross-up. Oh! That he might stun, but it doesn't side. need it. Yes, good roll. Yeah. I don't think he was expecting the far roll. No, yeah, that was a far roll. We haven't seen that a ton tonight. Could have gotten that combo and oh. got him touching a button. Look at this. Big Viper trying to oh, make the comeback. Right back. Oh, no. what happened? Oh, nice. God, that, again, that hit stun was so short and he got the throw right away. Sakura has a bar, though. He catches him standing. He could end this game here, but now Chex Quest has it as well. Yeah, got to watch out for the Vi CC for both players. This is really coming out oh, for a while. Oh, goes for a super fireball. What an interesting decision there. Oh, oh, he's in, but it's not going to be able to combo. Again, the custom combo is a, a threat again. Nope, didn't get Push him yep, back. Blocking. Push him back. He's got another one that he can. Oh, Whoa. he tried to air to air again. She's going to no! have it, but it's not the invincibility is not long enough. This is a tough situation now for Vic Viper. Doesn't have a bar. Oh, There's he's going to get it. Yes, yes! There, it is. there it Too is. many predictable fireballs from a screen away. <laughs> And there it is, Chex Quest. Oh, devastating loss oh. there for Vic Viper. Out at third place after having a 2-0 lead against Justin Long. That's going to be a tough oh, one to take. Man. But that's sometimes how the cookie crumbles. The cookie crumbles. Yeah. Well, no, that was fourth place, right? Because cookie crumbled. Oh, uh, cookie anyway, was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> uh, but shout-outs to Vic Viper. Yep. Chex Quest. Has repping the, right. the Vampire Arcadia. Has the right to go up against just one. You know in the beta of Alpha 2, Sakura's standing roundhouse was bufferable? <laughs> oh my god. So anytime someone whipped anything, you just roundhouse uppercut it, <laughs> and it was like super broken. That sounds ridiculous. Yeah. It was kind of dumb. So Justin Wong going to go with his rose. But what's interesting now is that, you know, uh, Chex Quest is going to try to play a little bit maybe of that defensive style, but he can't throw Sonic Booms because if he do, he can absorb them yep. and just gain all this power. And, and I do believe this is the version where if Rose absorbs the Fireball, she gains strength, so if she activates custom, she can go sweep into Fireball, 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 yeah, and then you die. Yeah, a lot of damage. Yeah, you just die instantly. She can absorb up to seven Fireballs, yep. if I'm not mistaken. Because there is a, a different version of Alpha 2, like an updated kind of version that came uh -huh. out later. That never was really wild, widely accepted by the community, even back then. I think it kind of came out as Alpha 3 was almost okay, kind of coming okay, out. Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of like that third strike update that yeah. nobody played or Alpha 3 Yeah, upper. I said there was all the, yeah. the Alpha 3 upper. I mean, even like, you know, CVS 2 EO was a completely yeah. different version of the mm -hmm. game, technically, with that remove the roll canceling yep. and things like that. But people are like, I like my cheap stuff. I like my glitches. <laughs> yep, well, here we go. Chex Quest versus Justin Wong. Is Justin Wong going to win another old man tournament? The Chex Quest is going to be on his quest to take the tournament. Well, Justin's going to try to keep him at in checks. <laughs> now two bars here, almost three bars. Man, meter builds up so fast. It's only like 70 seconds, and he already has almost three bars. Ow. Okay. Using the booms again. He's got two bars built up. Can get a good chunk of damage back. Let's think about Charlie, though. His, his footsies and his zoning are great in this game, but his customs don't do a ton of damage yeah. for the most part. Nice. nice. 
ass kicked so fast. Yeah, got that, got that slide that was just unsafe. The start of Rose's level three super can actually reflect oh. all oh, the walk up custom, the classic for Chex quest. Okay, we get back up here. Oh no! Oh boy, danger! Oh, oh he tried to yeah. jump over in time, couldn't quite make it. Miscalculation from Justin. First round goes to Chex quest who has to win two three out of fives. Got to reset the bracket against Justin, who's in the winner's side. All right. Ooh. Good with punish. Oh, yes, the, roll, the, the roll into custom. You're Justin so, was trying to go for a throw. Yeah, you're so used to people doing the light roll. So what Chex Quest is doing is he's going for the heavy roll every once in a while, and it's so smart the way that he's doing it, just kind of catching Justin off guard every once yeah. in a while. I mean, he did it to Vic Viper, too. That's how he... Oh, oh God. Had to get it out of there. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. The Has that level one still. Yep. Kinda Easily like come back here. Walk up custom. Or walk up throw is a threat right now. And fireball, you don't want to throw a fire. Oh, okay. Uh, Justin's ready with that anti air yep. every time. You played right into Justin's game there. Just kind of walk him down. You just kind of believe in your ability to react. Especially when you have that level one custom built up. Justin trying to make it over that, but you see how fast they start up because the super starts to animate before the, 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 the yeah. screen freeze ends. That's why you can get hit while you're just standing there next to him without blocking ahead of time. Same reason why the Vi CC works. Yep. Nice. Okay, doesn't want to deal with that mix up at all. So that Rose is a character that wants you to block. So you <laughs> gotta use your custom. Yep. You gotta use your alpha counters to get out. Yep. Oh too far. Ow. Still kind of a favorable situation out outcome there for Chex Quest, but. Oh, okay. Trading, and you know what? Justin will take that trade any day of the week. Oof. And I don't understand that. She has like two shadows, but then that slide hit four times. Yeah, it's like it's, it's so goofy. Yeah, oh, overhead. Oh, he missed it. What the heck? Oh, was that flash kick no. hit him and didn't knock him down at yeah. all. He was just like, oh, got grazed and was like, <laughs> what the, what the? It's like only one hit of it hit yeah. that doesn't knock down. Only the second does. There Justin Long, game one. Over Chex Quest. Is he going to try a new character or is he picking the stage? Yeah, he's I think picking he's just picking the stage. The stage. Yep. Wants cool. to fight in that back alley brawl. Again, try to maybe kill some of the, the lag from yep. some other stages. I mean, there was a war on this stage. I don't know what who was <laughs> fighting. There's probably a bunch of the, 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 the Chinese Matt, yeah. Hong Kong gangs, you know. Strong yep. again. Great use of the sweep. Justin's footsies are always so good. Oh, look at that. Hitting him a couple times with those fireballs, catching him off guard. Always having that crouch fierce ready to go as an anti air. I swear Justin's never caught off guard. No. Oh, nice. yeah, that's yep. right. Yep. Anti air. If you do it fast enough, you actually can get that to juggle. Like I said, the very first frame of an air reel, even if the move doesn't knock down, allows the opponent to be juggled. Yep. Oh, oh. goes straight through the activation. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, yeah. no. That was a double whoops right there for Chex Quest. There we go. Good nice patience. anti air. Chex Quest got to make. Got to walk Justin down here. Don't want him to get meter back too soon. Ah, there it is. Yep. Justin's game plan is so funny. He just gets level one and then uses it right away. Yep. You are not rolling at me. Oh, yeah, he's going to get hit by that. So there's no real downside to just keep keeping that super up yeah. at all times. And he keeps absorbing those Sonic Booms, so he just keeps getting meter back right away. Chex Quest sitting on full super yeah, bar. That's going to kill right now if he can get a custom combo. Oh, oh Justin. Go one for the overhead. Good Still blood. has plenty of time just using those oh fireballs. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Bam. 
You want to talk about how good that Bam. crouching strong is? <laughs> Let me go under the Sonic. I mean, to be fair, it's not even a low. It's not even technically a low profile move, but it is. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just a mid. Well, also, uh, Charlie's Sonic Boom is particularly high up. I've actually gone yep. under it with Zangief's crouching <laughs> medium kick. The, you know, the long stretchy yeah, one. Yeah. And I've actually punched under it with his crouching heavy punch, oh, too. So. Right, checks quest down 2-0. Justin trying to make quick work of this grand finals. Yeah, he's already up 2-0, so he's already two thirds of the way there. Checks quest got to do something here, or Justin once again is gonna take all the money from all the old games here. Oof. Okay, had to use the off counter. Yeah. So much chip building up there. Because the last thing you want to do is take all that chip and then. Rose just activates in your yeah, face again. Yeah, I know, right? Look at that. Again, every time he absorbs that meter, he gets half a bar. <laughs> Can't just feed her like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's always that trade because the shadow is still attacking. Oh, Okay, nice. here we go. Check quest. Oh, oh, and he, he, he read the activation. So now he has no meter. So what can Justin do at this point in time? Yeah, Justin knows... Well, okay, caught him with the surprise Sonic Boom, but we'll, gotta watch out because he can always reflect those. Ah, not that ah. time. Not in time, and he tried to jump over it. It's too late to reflect it. Couldn't block it. Justin has level one built up. Is he gonna activate right away? Nope. Justin sometimes waits until he gets about close to two bars. Yeah. Well, he's actually going for max meter. He almost at level three. Oh, nice read from Chex Quest. Chex Quest trying to stay in this. Couldn't make it over that Sonic Boom. Yeah, commanding lead here in this game. Trying to stay alive to take his first game. Oh, yeah. Chex Quest doing a great job right now with the zoning game. Nice. He's going to go in the counter. alpha yeah. counter. Yeah. Try to drain as much as life as he can. I mean, that's, that's a good strategy here. Wait until it does it. Yep. Gets, get the damage. You can kind of take a couple more of those. In combo. The next alpha counter he does. Oh, yep, delay. The delay it. of the Sonic Boom. There we go. Chex Quest putting his first game on the board. Yep, good round there. Good game plan. I liked what he was doing. He had enough life lead that he could have taken multiple, you know, chip mm -hmm. drills and just chipped away at Justin's life with the alpha counter at the end. And maybe he can try to do to Justin what Justin did to Vic. Yeah. Make the two. But the problem is right now, Chex Quest, remember, is in loser's bracket. Yes. He has to knock Justin into loser's bracket, and then he can eliminate him. So he needs to win two sets of three out of five. Yep. Got to win the next two. Has to win the next two games in a row here. And start from Justin. Already at the bar. Yep. Just built it back up. Justin being a little more aggressive, it feels like, with the projectiles. Good use. I like Chex, I like Chex Quest's uh, game plan right now. Good use of alpha counters, but he's oh, down God, the yeah, meter. He, yeah. he didn't have any alpha counters there. He's just giving up. Justin free meter all the time. Oof. Oof. Where are you going? Nice. Okay, good patience from Chex Quest. Is that meter again, yes. Drill, okay, yeah. alpha counter. I mean, that's a win for Justin because he still gets a tiny hit and he's forcing Chex Quest to burn all of that meter. Ooh. Oh my oh. god! And then the surprise fireball out of nowhere. Justin is at match point. It's Tournament point. Tournament point for Justin Wong. His reactions are on point with those reflects. Those are not easy fireballs to react to right. at that close of a range. Like I said, the craziest thing about it is Justin is barely playing Alpha 2. You don't see him going with any crazy custom combos, not even any crazy Alpha counters. He just keeps activating this mirror super. It's such an effective tool in this game. You can play Rose that way. Oh, there it is. But you know Check what? Justin's quest. okay with that because he's going to start the next yes. round with no meter. That was an expensive ticket to punch for Char for uh, Check's quest there. Oh, God. Activate up. Jump over. It doesn't get the combo. Look at no, the, that's, the chip. Yeah. That's 25% gone. do it again. Oh, Half-Life gone now. And Justin now with the meter again. Tough situation here for Chex Quest. Got to live this one yeah, out. Yeah, and now he's got to spend that meter, so no more custom combo possibilities. Oh. And Justin activates again, goes for it again. Look at all that chip. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Justin has done, like, 50% damage on chip alone. Okay. Char 
Early uh, checks quest. No meter. Can't block anything. Oh, no. Oh, had one. Oh, he tried to get him to jump. Oh, that's going to be it there right there. it is. Justin Wong is your Alpha 2 champion at Combo Breaker 2019. Oh, checks quest is your second place. And Vic Viper will finish off in third, and Cookie will be in fourth. Yes, great. Great stuff from Justin Wong was down 0-2 in winners finals. That's right. Came back Viper. three straight games against Vic Viper, and then Vic Viper fell to a five-game match against Chex Quest. But that is Alpha 2 for this weekend. Uh, I great. I love watching old games. I love <laughs> I love talking about them. It brings back some good memories. Dude, I, like I said, I can't believe I remembered some of the crazy things that happened in this game. The, you so, said you know? it's I, I. It's been a while since I've personally played a lot of the mm -hmm. game, but like when I remember when GGPO came out, this game was insanely popular yeah. at the time, mm -hmm. and everyone was playing it. You get online, and I, you know there'd be guys like Flo in there constantly, yeah. and I'd be playing games <laughs> with them, but. Uh, Good stuff to everybody. That was a fun turn top eight to watch yeah. and commentate. Congratulations, Justin Wong. There's a lot of other old games right now. Third Strike is going on on another yep. stream. Third Strike's uh, all weekend I long. saw Holoseum being played on another <laughs> stream. <laughs> was that the mystery tournament over there? Oh, or was it that? might have been, actually. Yeah. I think that was but, uh, mystery. Okay, okay. But, I mean, obviously, we've also got, you know, Super Turbo, Vampire Savior, even EX2, and all sorts of other old games yep. as well. So, again, uh, use a... Oh, Marvel 2 Whoa. Top 8 is Stay coming Stay tuned up, so for Justin's Marvel 2. Justin's probably still going to If you want your, yeah, get your curly mustaches ready. We got yeah. Marvel 2 coming up. But again, uh, uh, always twitter.com slash acekingoffsuit yes. for the schedule so you know where to watch all of the different old games. Definitely. So, yeah. But it's been a pleasure. Uh, James? Yep, for sure, James. Yes. <laughs> we will see you later. Marvel 2 Top 8 coming up next.